Hey guys, so today there is a card that I wanted to talk about and I typically avoid this type of video because I don't, I just don't like it. So it is Hall of Gemstones, it is on the reserve list and it went up over 2000% pretty much overnight from a dollar to $28.50. This is kind of an embarrassment to the magic community to be honest. Uh, essentially what happened was a store and then individuals speculators uh, kept buying this card since it was on the reserve list i do remember this card from mirage it was in a top eight deck at the time the world championship deck i remember playing it and it was a sideboard card it was very very good now i'm essentially back to basics before back to basics was a card i like the card but it deserves to be a dollar it does not deserve to be 28 dollars and 50 cents uh this unregulated market hurts everyone because it shows that what magic is magic is not an investment uh and no other i can't think of a stock that goes up two thousand percent overnight maybe like a pharmaceutical company that just developed a drug a fantastic drug that cures some disease that a lot of people are affected by but other than that i just don't see you don't see a two thousand percent increase like ever in the stock market. Maybe in penny stocks, but penny stocks are heavily regulated by the SEC. And, you know, it takes, I think, eight to nine months to get your money out of penny stocks. So by the time you take it out, it will go down in price. Essentially, this has happened many times before. It happened with the Zendikar Fetchlands when Star City Games purchased every single Zendikar Fetchland and then, you know, after they were done buying, they posted it for triple the price of what they paid for it. And people had to pay for it because there was a limited supply at the time. I feel this behavior is unacceptable. Um, it truly is. When you have a group of speculators who just, it's not really funny and it's not really for fun. And because somebody's going to trade into this. What happens a lot is they hike the price up and then they go to vendors and like, hey, will you take this card for 25%? 25% is a lot better when the card's gone up 2,000. And this I've seen this happen to commanders where people are not making that much money, but the card is so hyped. So if that one player actually wanted this card for EDH, wow, like, um, wow. And the reserve list is, it's just a problem and I feel like it is kind of an embarrassment when a single market player can do this. And I'm pretty sure I know who it is.